giving spelling tests was hard for them to be able to hear me say words correctly. So that barrier was really tough. Well, the masks can come off and e-learning won't be an option as Tampa Bay's biggest school district prepares for the 2021-22 school year. Hillsborough County Public Schools families will have to choose between in-person instruction or Hillsborough virtual K-12. Justin Checker live in Tampa tonight. So Justin, starting Monday, masks will no longer be mandatory, right? That's right, Josh. Good evening to you. This announcement from Hillsborough Schools comes after other local districts made the same decision. After an unprecedented year and a half of education during this pandemic, I spoke with a local teacher who says she hopes next year will mark a return to normal. Welcome to e-learning with Miss Tebow and then has all my kids names listed. Eight on your side first met fourth grade teacher Lauren Tebow when she transitioned from her classroom to teaching from home in March 2020. When you're working from home, it's hard to have the boundary of this is my quitting time. This is my done time. This past school year, she was back at Northwest Elementary for full time in person instruction while other Hillsborough County teachers had split assignments. I was just with a friend earlier today who had a hybrid teach and she said it was tough to make sure that you were meeting the needs of the kids in front of you plus the kids that were online. Since she's been fully vaccinated against COVID-19. You know, I felt like I could breathe a little bit more um, knowing that I wasn't going to have to get quarantined if uh, I was exposed to someone at school. With vaccinations increasing and COVID cases decreasing, the Hillsborough County School District is ending the e-learning option. In-person learning obviously is, for most of us, is the way that we learn the best. I think for teachers, that's the way they were trained and that's the way uh, uh, they're going to be most successful uh, for the most part. If parents still want their children learning from home, they have until July 11th to apply for Hillsborough Virtual K-12. Totally understand. It's a huge decision, but now you have a, a viable option that will continue to keep that money in our county and help our, our county students. The most noticeable change when Tebow returns from summer break will be the optional mask policy. Um, just be able to see smiles and to see faces I think will be nice um, and kind of remove a little bit of a barrier. So I'm hoping that we start getting to that normal that we had before. And while not mandatory, the Hillsborough County Health Director is strongly encouraging parents to get their children 12 years and older vaccinated. On social media, some parents are expressing concern about the mask requirement ending because elementary school students still are not vaccine eligible. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.